Hey everybody, look, an egg is hatching. Let's hatch it very quickly and see what it is. Hmm, a snubble. That's kind of new for uh, one kilometer eggs. Now, here's the reason why I'm not going to put another egg in there. Well, here's the thing. So yesterday, first of all, let me just get rid of this. Thank you. Yesterday, by the end of the episode, I wanted to, I wanted to hatch a 12 kilometer egg and then battle one of the, uh, the leaders uh, to get another strange egg so that I can put that one in a super incubator that I got uh, from uh, buying one of the uh, packages, I think. But see, the thing is, well, a lot of things happened. First of all, um, my battery was near dead on the phone, that is, so uh, I just, um, I couldn't, uh, I mean, I had enough battery just to record the hatching of the egg, which was a lot of ATAR, it's good for me, but then after that, I had to go back to my, uh, my house, my, my, my apartment, hopefully charge up the phone and I uh, uh, come up with my uh, portable charger but see the problem is the phone couldn't charge back up in time and uh, it's still very low battery and uh, see this also um, the team lead the team go rocket leaders uh, it, basically, they, they disappear in like 10, 10 o'clock, I think. They only reappear in like, what, uh, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, I don't know. The bottom line is they disappear at 10. Then after 10 o'clock at night, you can't find them anywhere. Local time, obviously. And I mean, it was very painfully obvious that the phone wasn't going to be able to charge back up in time before 10 o'clock. So, eventually, I just decided to give up on uh, trying to battle one of the leaders um, that day. And I kind of ended a bit ambiguously, the ending of the episode. See, the thing is that I didn't even have time to... Uh, write a description of the, of the video, which is something that I started doing a couple of days ago. There's Arlo. Started writing uh, descriptions. Barely even got a chance to uh, choose a, uh, an appropriate thumbnail. I don't even know what that, uh, what yesterday's episode looks like, but the point is, the bottom line is, I only had enough time to upload it. Okay, and I'm gonna battle Arlo. Hopefully get myself uh, an egg. Okay, now he's using Omanite, if I remember correctly. So using Metagross won't help me. I'm going to use my champ, which as you can see, I've charged it up all the way to 3000. And that's it, I think. And I could use Mammoth Swine, but it's a little risky. Because it, it could know water type moves, which I don't know. I'm not too comfortable with. First of all, let's fill up my champ. Anyways, like I said, the bottom line is I ended the episode a bit ambiguously. I said, I, I just ended, ended it with a title card that says, Long story short, I couldn't get to my uh, to my house in time and flower it. Now I realized that that kind of implies maybe something happened to me along the way. Oh, shoot. I miscalculated. See, it's Cliff that has the Ammonite. Not Arlo. Now, I'm fine with losing this. Hold on. Looks like we're gonna lose. What the heck is he even using? Okay, we might be able to take out the Growlithe. But even if we are gonna lose, let's, let's at least check out his... Uh, second and third Pokemon if we can get that far. Here we use my champ's fast charging charged attack. 
to get through his second shield and take him out at the same time. Please be something sweet. Okay. Dang it. Well, at least we got shiny dose. That one's gonna take care of him. Oh wow, this Charizard is really powerful. Hold on. Oh, look at that, a cat. Uh, a cat. A random cat just showed up. Say hello to the camera, Mr. Cat. Hello. Yeah, this cat is very interested in me. Okay, it's a sizzle. This cat has just decided to sit on me now. Okay. <laughs> He's wondering why I'm not paying it any attention. Nice kitty. I, clearly, I can't focus on the battle and pay any attention to this cat at the same time, so, uh, hold on. There we go. Nice kitty. Good kitty. I want to take this cat home with me, but, I mean, I don't know. Whoop! No biting. No biting, Mr. Cat. Nice kitty. Anyways, uh, looks like we're gonna have to re, uh, readdress the battle strategy. Sorry there, Mr. Cat. I'm gonna need that second hand. Oh, this cat's not giving up. No biting. I said no biting. <laughs> Must have scared him off. Okay, rematch. Okay, first of all... I'm gonna use Shiny Dose for the Growlithe, obviously. And then, hold on. Uh, Rhyperior. Where's it? Right. Rhyperior for the Charizard. And. And Salamence for the uh, the Scizor because it has Fire Fang. Or alternatively, I could just use now. Let's just use Arcanine. Okay, Shiny Dose for the for the Growlithe. Rhyperior for uh, the Charizard. Yeah, Arc you know, Arcanine and Salamence aren't that far apart. If if Salamence was much higher CP, I would have used it against Scizor. Okay. So here we go. There, see much better. Now I can actually see what he's attacking me with. He's using Ember. Not very effective at all on Gyarados. And Gyarados should also do some damage to Charizard. But at the same time, I mean, it's a Charizard. It's much more powerful than a Growlithe. Fortunately for me, I can just use Twister to get rid of both of his shields. And then I won't even I won't even need to get to Earthquake with um, with Rhyperior. I can just uh, Rock Throw him, or is it Smackdown? I keep forgetting what my Rhyperior's fast attack is. Oh, well, what do you know? I, would, I, would, I didn't even need Rhyperior at the end. Nice. First of all, let's go for Twister. It's not going to be very effective because Scizor is a Steel type. But, it's going to do some damage before uh, he takes us out. He's taking us out with Fu Fury Cutter, which is a bug type. Okay. Now, Arcanine is going to finish it off because it's four times weak to fire. The cat's back. He's licking himself. Or is it a sheep? I don't know. I haven't actually looked. Okay, now we've got her curiosity. Or him. Again, I didn't, even, I didn't actually check the genders. Yep, this cat is very much interested in what's happening with me. Okay, so. Not shiny, but never mind. I didn't really do it for the shiny, I did it for the egg. You know, funny thing is, I was too busy looking at the cat. I didn't even notice if I got the strange egg, which is the reason why I came here for. 
I really hope I did get the egg. Otherwise, this whole whole thing would, would have been just a waste of time. Okay. Fingers crossed. There it is. Let's put the uh, super incubator to work. Okay, eight kilometers instead of just uh, twelve. That's good. Meanwhile, let's put these other uh, super incubators to work. Probably should have waited for 10 kilometer eggs, but I don't know. I really want to get rid of all these uh, extra eggs that I got from the, um, the event recently. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I really had planned for this episode, a shiny dance part. Look at, look at this, a cluster of shinies all in the center of the gym. This, you know, a shiny executor, a shiny dance boss, and a shiny, um, Charmander. Why, why, why did I forget about Charmander? I'm pretty sure there's Hitmonlee's mine. Nope. I do remember putting a Hitmonlee in a gym. Oh wait, now I remember. See, last night I was coming back from, uh, filming the episode, and still with the very last few, uh, a uh, bit of battery in this phone. What I did was, I wanted to put a Pokemon in this gym, but then I, I just saw someone on the other side of the road. He didn't notice me, but I noticed he was playing Pokemon Go, and he just uh, took all the Pokemon out of this gym and uh, just uh, took over this gym. It was a uh, can't, can't remember what's their name. Team Instinct, I think, something like that. It's the uh, the yellow one, the uh, the Zapdos one. Yeah, he put a Blissey in here. An annoyingly tanky Pokemon, but I took it out. It took me a while, and most of the battery, but I took out his uh, Blissey and replaced it with my Snorlax. And uh, I think earlier today I got the notification that my Snorlax was uh, <laughs> beaten out of the gym. Anyways. So yeah. A little bit of information about what, what my, how's my day been. Uh, and maybe we can wrap up this episode very quickly because I, I kind of have something to, something to do later. So as I mentioned yesterday, me and my dad worked all day. Uh, again, just like I said yesterday, we, we had a little bit of work. And uh, I dare say we did, we did a nice job today. Um, doesn't really look like my dad's going to... Uh, come back to the city so at least next week so uh, doesn't really look like uh, he's gonna need any help with his job with his work anytime soon so uh, I'll have more time to do some uh, continuous uninterrupted episodes uh, without having to spend the majority of, uh, of the day uh, working with my dad and just uh, recording at night which is something that I don't enjoy doing because first of all it's night time and Second of all, uh, it's very hard to see. That's why I keep having to look for these uh, street lights. To make sure uh, that I'm fully visible. And uh, questioning if I should even go go uh, any forward because there are no lights in there. So let's just go where I know uh, people people will be able to see me. Anyways. So yeah, me and my dad did, did a lot of work today. Today was very uh, productive. Not so much for my channel, unfortunately, but I mean, at least I'm still doing these, these episodes, so at least I got some uh, content to upload. Tomorrow, though, I hope I can uh, make some time for it. Uh, I wanted to start doing a video that I probably should have done, or, or at the very least started, two days ago, but... Uh, yeah, over the weekend, this past weekend, um, the legendary Israeli comedian, comedian slash movie star uh, Yehuda Barkan uh, passed away from Corona, unfortunately, because 2020 sucks. But uh, yeah, I mean he was 75, but still, still unfortunate. So, anyways, I wanted to do a tribute video for him in his honor. And like I said, I probably should have started working on it two days ago, but I just didn't have the time. 
Plus, I also need you to do a little bit of research before starting something like this. Wouldn't want to, you know, have a tribute to somebody when you're not 100% sure all the, about all the things you're going to put in the tribute. Like, I mean, I had to do a lot of research when I did the Chadwick Boseman uh, tribute video. And I think, uh, I think it turned out alright. I'm very proud of that video. Even though it took me way longer than it probably should have. But that's mostly because of uh, the structure of how that video uh, uh, was meant to be. Which I have no complaints about. Anyways. What else? Um, oh yeah, tonight. This is why I gotta finish this episode a little early. Well, I mean, I started late, but it's still. Um, I mentioned it yesterday. Later today, uh, me, I'm going to be part of uh, Mark Riley's uh, sort of inner geekdom schmodown free for all thing that he has on his Discord server with uh, all of his friends, all of the people on his Discord server. Hopefully, I can do well. I want, uh, first of all, I gotta wash off all the fur from that cat, but uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna take a shower, at least I don't think, because I want to, uh, oops. I really forgot about Eggron for a second there. I want to get in the costume. I've, I've got a costume ready, uh, because, you know, they're about getting ready to celebrate Halloween over there, and, uh, well, even though I personally don't celebrate Halloween, because it's not a holiday, it's not a Jewish holiday, it's not a holiday that we celebrate in this part of the world, I wanted to at least uh, show up uh, fully uh, dressed up in a costume. Maybe someone else is gonna show up in costume as well. I don't know. But at least I will. And I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. So yeah, I want to... Uh, I want to finish up some things. Uh, get, in the, get in my costume. And hopefully... Hopefully... Somewhere in the middle of all that actually answer some trivia questions about inner geekdom uh, and maybe do well in it I don't know maybe I'll just completely stink the bed maybe I won't at least I, I'll know that I've tried because I am I mean I love the schmodown especially the inner geekdom division and the inner geekdom is where I, I want to be one day I hope I can be a competitor a legitimate competitor in the inner geekdom uh, I really hope that uh no, Christian, Christian did mention, Christian Hardoff, the person who runs the other uh, Smowdown, he did mention that next year he's thinking about starting a minor league on Twitch. I'd be very excited to be part of that minor league. So, he hopes to, uh, that he might find some uh, new uh, rising stars in the uh, movie trivia Smowdown. I certainly hope I could be one of them. Now, as you can clearly see, the phone is stuck. I really hope the footage isn't going to get destroyed. So, let me just pause the, the recording here and come back to you guys in a few minutes. Hold on. Okay, so, no idea what happened to the phone for there a second ago, but... I believe I have it on good authority that the footage survived. At least I hope it did, because it'll be a shame... Uh, It'd be a shame to give up on all the footage that I shot a few mi few minutes ago. I mean, especially for that cat. I mean, that cat was method acting, right? For a cat, obviously. Anyways, uh, yeah, the cat is definitely uh, one of the better one of the better uh, new characters on the show. I really hope he can make uh, or she. I don't know. Again. But I really hope that Ken can make a uh, return, a guest appearance on this show uh, sometime soon. Should I tackle this gym? Nah, best to leave them alone. In any case, uh, you guys didn't really think I was going to leave you guys uh, uh, with nothing other than just, you know, uh, the fight with Arlo, the new uh, strange egg, and that mysterious cat that just showed up out of nowhere. Did you? wrong I actually didn't have something planned something that I did actually started mentioning yesterday but 
Hold on, if we go to recent, as you can see, I didn't really catch all the Pokemon today. At least not compared to the uh, usual stuff. There's a spirit tube from yesterday and your mask. By the way, I actually did my research on your mask. I realized why, uh, and I also put it in the episode yesterday in post production. So your mask evolves into uh, Cofagrigus. You, know, you know when your mask that is. You know when your mask evolves to, uh, into Cofagrigus. And in level uh, 34, which is why I needed to catch th uh, 34 Pokemon at first. Uh, obviously, as I mentioned, Spirit Tomb is the collection of uh, 108 evil souls. That's why I needed to catch 108 Pokemon. And um, with uh, Galarian uh, Yamask, yeah, just uh, again, I have no idea why that is, but you have to um, make it lose 49 HP points without fainting. Oh. You can lose more than 49, but uh, at least 49 HP, and after it lost uh, 49 HP, you can just uh, uh, take it to uh, the Dusty Bowl, which is a location in the wild area, in Galar, and then it will mysteriously evolve into a uh, Runarigus. Not really sure why Why is that, I gotta, may, maybe, um, maybe Loxton should do an episode about that, maybe that's... Maybe that should be his next video. I mean, he already he already did um, Galarian Sloking. I'm assuming that his next video is going to be either an update on his uh, Cascade region or uh, maybe it'd be something about Calyrex and his horses. I don't know. But we're not we're done talking about uh, Galarian Yamask. This is the main object of uh, the main reason I'm still doing this episode today Dragonair which will now become a Dragonite my second well my third in total my third in this game and I believe it's either my fourth or fifth Dragonite in total because I, I definitely remember having one in Let's Go Pikachu because of I, because I needed to finish the um, the Pokedex, but also I I believe someone gave me a shiny Dratini once. A friend of mine gave me a shiny Dratini and put, let's go Pikachu and I evolved it all the way into a Dragonite. A shiny one that is. Now uh be that as it may, I've now evolved this majestic dragon creature. Now a lot of Pokemon in this area. Let's shiny check some of these. This Taylor isn't shiny, okay. Neither is this Shuppet. And as for these two ghastlies, this one's clearly not shiny, while this one is also not shiny, so no reason to catch any of these, for now. Anyways, let's, let's check out the mission. Oh, also, this thing, the weekly mission thing, whatever it's called. Let's get our weekly Shedinja. Can Shedinja be shiny in this game? I doubt it. But yeah, okay, so, start encounter. What? Shut up, give me my Shedinja, thank you. There's Shedinja, the Shed Ninja Pokemon. Actually, no, it's called the Shed Pokemon. I think I've mentioned that previously, but uh, why won't you be captured? Don't you like me? Okay, maybe it knows I'll just dispose of it as, as soon as I'll check its IVs and figure out it's not as good as the IVs on the uh, Shedinja I currently have. See, the thing about Shedinja is it's completely useless in this game. It's great in the main series games, but I mean, it's, it's useless in this game. Because it doesn't carry uh, the same ability that uh, its main series counterpart has. Okay, this Dust Gold clearly isn't shiny. And uh, neither is the shopping. Okay, let's go back to the uh, the jump start mission. There's the Porygon mission that I still need to finish. Whoa, whoa! Look at this. Hold on. One hundred thousand XP. I'm using a I'm using a a, a lucky egg for this. No way I'm missing out on this opportunity. 
And uh, it's not a waste because they get two more uh, lucky eggs after that. Okay, so. Back to this. Okay, the jumpstart research. 100,000 XP, which has now been turned into 200,000. Probably should have used the star piece, but never mind. I'll do it next time. Well, really, that's it? No good job? No nothing? Just... Here, take some XP and leave me alone? Well, on the right side. We're past the halfway point to, uh, 3,000, 3 million. I mean, if we just got 400,000 XP, that means... Yeah, we were at 14, no, we were, I was at 1.4 million, now I'm at 1.8. I'd say it was worth it. The Sableye is in Chinese, so goodbye, I already have an, an event Sableye. Anyways, um, that's really all I wanted to still do. Let me go, the streak is broken. Why do they keep telling me to do, hold on. How was that a great throw? As I was saying, why, why are, they, are they all these missions of just make three excellent throws in a row? Do, you, do they even know how hard that is? Anyways, so that's basically all I wanted to do. Um, right now, I just gotta take full advantage of this lucky egg that I just uh, set up. Yeah. Could have been an excellent throw. Anyways. Let's check, let's check out the, uh, the Dragonite that I just got. Hopefully it's good. Because, I mean, I already have a Dragonite. But, I mean... Um, hey, it never hurts to have two, am I right? Okay. Let's go over here to Pokemon. BB. And, hold on. Wait, I have three of these? Well, the one with the 2000s is definitely the one I just evolved. Okay. This one's really good. Oh, this one's awful! Dang it! And this one's relatively good. So, well, thank you for evolving, but... Goodbye! And also, it's a way to capitalize on the fact that you can now actually gain two uh, candies from transferring Pokemon as opposed to the usual uh, one, which is great. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's basically it. I have all the Dragonite, finally finished up the uh, Jumpstart mission, which I don't know, I started a couple of months ago, and I finally finished it. I made a nice cat. And, uh... Yeah, I got myself a strange egg, which... Is, a, is very strange. Anyways, I think, I think what I did today was sufficient. I'm glad I was able to save... The uh, the whole evolving the dragonite the dragon air into dragonite for today's episode, which wasn't going to be much of an episode regardless. So at least I at least I have a I had a backup plan. Now uh, the unfortunate side effect of that is that I've now lost that backup plan. I I, I can't use uh, that. Um, backup plan for anything else right now, but no, no worries. I'm pretty sure I'll find something else to uh, make an episode whenever I'll reach uh, a moment where there's nothing else to talk about. Hopefully, uh, with the um, the weekend steadily approaching. First of all, tomorrow is raid hour, but not really sure I will. I'll have enough time to. Uh, um, 
to do an episode tomorrow. Well, I'll definitely have time to do an episode tomorrow because I'm hoping to get up early, but I'm not really 100% sure that I'll be able to do an episode about Raid Hour. Because my mom is uh, coming to visit me tomorrow. We're going to discuss some things, mostly about this... um, I believe I've mentioned this, the uh, the project that I'm working on. I'm working on this big project of uh, making my own version of a Pokemon game set based in Israel. It's, it's really coming along fine. I mean, next week I'm also planning to meet up with my dad because he knows he knows some stuff. Okay, and uh, he promised he can help me with that project as well. So, uh, putting a lot of time and effort into that project, but uh, yeah. So yeah, tomorrow my mom is coming to, vi- to visit me, so, and we're gonna, you know, bounce some ideas together. Worked pretty well last time. But, uh, yeah. I think I realized I'm, I'm now saying, but yeah, way too many times. So anyways, I think, I think this will be enough for one episode today. I'm just gonna keep walking home, but, uh, I'm gonna keep both cameras rolling, just in case, the usual rule, I'll find a shiny, so, uh. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video, because I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.